What's up, my babies? I'm back with another video. And y'all see we here with another little talk. And we trying to see, like, what, what we going to call this? What the girls want to know. We want to know some things, okay? <laughs> we got my friend Solomon here today. Okay, go ahead. I'm here to expose it all today. Oh, my name is Solomon. Call me Solo, though. You can follow me on Instagram with underscore Solo TV. If y'all want to see a house, you want your house pressure wise, y'all hit me up on Instagram. Period. Okay. Go ahead. Start yourself out again. It's your girl, Primetime Bree, man. And you on my time, Primetime. Let's get it. All right, bestie. It's Kylo. Jada on the stream. <laughs> All right, we finna go ahead and get into it. We just gonna start out with some slow, some light. Okay, so what has life been teaching y'all so far? Since we got out of high school, since we just freshly like 22, 21, 22, mm -hmm. what has life taught you from then to now? Well, it taught me, since y'all said it, it taught me that I can't really trust, I can't put my trust into everybody. Yeah. Like, I'm, like, I have such a big heart. I know I got to chill out on it. At first, it wasn't like that at all. Yeah. You couldn't get nothing up out of me, but now, I'm so tender. Tender? <laughs> I thought you were going to say it turned the other way around. Yeah, like, but now I'm mean to fuck. I was, like, I was so hard. Like, I was just so cold hearted. Yeah. But now, I just got so tender. I don't like that. Which I think. What has life taught me? Hmm. Um... It taught me that everybody, well, it's the same shit that I think for everybody else, like, everybody ain't your friend, you know what I'm saying? I knew this shit, but it's like, the people that you really think you close to don't really be close to you, like, how you think they is. Um, it also taught me that, really, you can get anything in this world if you want to, if you want to, you just gotta really apply yourself to it, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, I guess, yeah, you just gotta apply yourself, and then, like I said, everybody ain't your fucking friend, you know? Okay. <laughs> I feel like since high school, it taught me really like just because of social media, you don't have to be stressed out. You're in your 20s after you graduate, you're in your 18, you ain't got to be stressed out, worry about what you want to do so fast, how you need it to be done fast. Cause you see all these rappers doing it, you think you got to do it super fast. You don't have to be in no rush, you just you slow grind. As long as you're doing something, you're going to get it. I guess life has taught me. Mm. I guess that I'm perfect, you know, and nothing wrong with me. Girl, you is not perfect. Don't do that. Oh, hey. Hey. Ain't nobody perfect. Hold on, don't do too come much. On, okay. Anyway, on. she didn't let me finish. Y'all see how she be cutting me off? Just like her. Huh, see how I'm going to say this on me? Hold on, baby. But life has taught me that I don't have to change myself. Thank you. Okay. Dang, you can I finish? That. You should have said and that And she first. stood on what the fuck she said. Okay, not too much. You're right, that's number two. Mm. Dang, not too much. Not too much. Let's let's fast forward. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, you got questions? You got questions? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Cause I be forgetting. Ooh, I be forgetting. We don't have to play my game, man. What's your game? Oh, I got it right here. Oh shit. Oh, he got a game. Like, yeah, it's like it come how deep will you go? Ooh, it just like you made this for real. It's just like stuff that you can ask. Like I love this shit. Man. Entrepreneurship. Y'all check this shit up. Can I hold it up? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. How? This for, this is for like how deep will you go to get to know your your partner, get to know your friend, so y'all can have a deeper connection together. Look at or the camera, you look cross-eyed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Y'all see this? man. I love that black excellence, man. Shout out to you, man. That's crazy. Let's play that. Okay. We're gonna play that now. We're gonna. We can wait. Okay. We we can really play it after this. Okay. Okay. All right. This is how did you deal with your first heartbreak? My first heartbreak was not with no nigga. It was with family. <clears throat> my family broke my shit for real. Okay, let me get into it since y'all asked. Um, you. in high school, it was I was finding out my parents were getting divorced, right? And then mm -hmm. I found out he was my daddy and stuff like that. That shit broke my fucking hearts. And then my um my family, I was finding out they was like. When I was in my mom's stomach, they was talking about me. I ain't even born. Y'all talk about me? Oh, girl. Like, what kind of shit is that? Girl. Yeah, that was my first heartbreak. That was heartbreaking, finding that out. Did they be talking about you in her, in her in my, stomach? In my mama's womb. They was like, that is that's your baby. Like, why would you doubt me like that? That hurt your feelings. Yeah. But years later. Mm -hmm. How's it your daddy? So is it true? <sighs> His family was talking about me. Oh, so not your mama. Oh, no, okay. I was about to say, I was about to say, damn. I was about to say, baby, you pregnant. I would have been this your baby. This your baby. No, okay. I was fine. Okay. They was talking about me. Okay. No. Okay. So 
I had to step back from that family. Mm-hmm. That was heartbreaking. <sighs> yeah, I got that heartbroken before. Really? Yeah, y'all pay back before I know y'all. Okay, so y'all, you got um, your heart broke before? No, nah, I don't feel like I got my heart broke before. Especially not like by no female. Not yet. Yeah, that dude, I'm, it's over with. So you ain't never got your heart broke? Uh-uh. Like, that you no been like bro- no, in high school when you had a girlfriend? Uh-uh. Because I ain't having just one girl. Can't get your heart broke then. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm toxic. Yeah. Ooh, it be toxic. the first yeah. I'm gonna shades on anyway because we gotta keep a please okay. keep a player. Yeah. <clears throat> Go ahead, bro. My first heartbreak. It was with um. Don't you dare! I was about to say please don't. Bad. We not. Thank you. Anyways, <sighs> spit it out. Oh, it's too good for the game. <laughs> it was recently too good. Hell no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this was years ago, baby. <laughs> I was too good for the game, man. I ain't no shit about the game. I, you know, gotta keep a G, keep a player. But long story short, the nigga wasn't shit. You know what I'm saying? What but did it's he okay do? though because the bitch wasn't better than me, so I ain't care. Ooh. Well, he did. Thank you. We fuck asked us, that. You know what I'm saying? He? We was fucking with somebody else, and no. I, I was my. He was my first love type shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like younger than love, nigga. We, well, this my nigga, man. Whole time that nigga out here fucking with other people. I'm just like down. See, in high school, I was fucking with some of your baby. They could be my first Ooh. love. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like everybody had a first love in high school. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't do that. To I don't myself. know. I can only fuck with one person at a time. So no, ma'am. You have to. In high school, I can't recant it. I mean, okay, let me stop lying. Let me stop lying. Okay. At one point, I was fucking with more than one person at, at high school. Wait, what? Everybody. <laughs> everybody. It's, it's, it's different though. It's different though. It's a different though because see, I was fucking with a nigga, and then the rest of the side, I was fucking with a bitch. Okay. All right. You got your heart broken before? No. Anyways, let's just move on. Because she with these one word answers I be talking about. But see, no, because you're asking me and I have not. Okay. Mm-hmm. See, this is why I want to share my question. <laughs> I want to share my question. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's just spice it up. Why do men cheat? Why do men cheat? Yeah, why do y'all cheat? If y'all have a good girl by you, why do y'all cheat? Like, what's, what's the point for, of that? For me, if I really cheat, it's like, you got to be doing something that another female doing. So you ain't doing something right. Go over there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, hold, no. On, hold on, hold on, hold <laughs> on. I got a question. First off, <laughs> okay, why? Wait, 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 wait. We are not jumping on you. We are not okay. jumping on you. No, we are not good. jumping. Okay, okay. But why? Like, why you can't just leave us? Just be like. I mean, like. Or I, talk about it. If like, I tell you, like, what you doing wrong, like, I don't like how you doing it. You keep, you know, still doing it. I leave, leave eventually. I might like it. I might like it somewhere else too. Yeah, Nick. Oh. Why not have the best of both worlds? Hold on, let me ask another question. Let me ask another question. I got another one to go on top of this one. Okay. On top of the why you be cheating? Why do y'all cheat with ugly bitches? <laughs> like, at least cheat with a bitch that's better than the one right. you with. Why the bitch gotta be exactly. uglier? Like, bitch, I said so. I feel like I feel insulted. I'm just like, damn, you gonna get with an ugly bitch? Then do I look like that? Oh, I know. We we know we don't. But I'm just saying, why the bitch gotta be ugly? Like it still made me feel good. Cause I be like, damn, you can't get better. So That's why okay. do women cheat? Why y'all cheat? We cheat for love, okay? Yeah, I'm more emotional. That's it. Mm. We're so emotional. We are. Are we? I don't know. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes Definitely women emotional. are like Definitely dogs, emotional. like just dogging niggas out. But some women just cheat for love. Like that nigga, he's showing, like he's showing up, he's showing out for her. Why you just sitting around just still doing the same old lame ass shit and on the playing couch, playing the game? Playing the game. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> That's the problem. They playing the game too much. No. What? Nah. We should be emotional cheaters. We should be emotional cheaters. Yeah, yeah. We should get like these niggas and just fuck them and be like, bitch, bye. <laughs> So when you when your Uber coming? <laughs> when that Uber coming? You want me to call your Lil? <laughs> Don't worry about it. I got you, baby. I'm like, you gonna call me tomorrow? Maybe not. Mm-hmm. I will see. Two weeks from now. Stop being so Ooh, emotional. Oh, I thought Ooh, you had to keep going. Go ahead. Go ahead. Awesome. That's all. What you about to say? Say it. I can't come over y'all. I already know Swain ain't going to get you in trouble like that. Just go ahead. <laughs> hey, you can't get me in trouble. <laughs> what? Play a bitch with me, y'all. What? Y'all be cheating. Do I be cheating? Not no more. I can't say not no Cap. more. Not no more. Who, me? I've cheated before. No, yeah, I be cheating. I've cheated before. I, ain't gonna I have before, but not like recently. Not my recent relationship. Not with Jay. But like my past, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Walking like a dog. <laughs> walking like a dog. <laughs> what made y'all cheat though? I just fell out of love. 
ain't want no more. I ain't gonna hold you. I um. <laughs> I ain't want no more. <laughs> Shit. It was. The nigga one just, I don't know, like, kind of like he said, we, I kind of keep reiterating some shit, and it been some months, like, almost a whole year that nigga still doing the same shit. I'm like, damn, bitch, you gonna get it together? And then one day, I was just like, you know what? But did you go back? Did I go back to him? Yeah. I, yes, you did. Let me, let me, let me be real. Listen, listen, no, listen. Did. No, I cheated. <laughs> Use protection. <laughs> Went back Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Whoa. Nah, Wait. I had, to, I had to use. Wait. It don't make it better, but I'm just saying, I ain't never be no dirty bitch and just be like, oh, I'm finna fuck this nigga and then come back to uh, uh, I uh, didn't uh, know. Because well, I would I never be no type of person to do that. I didn't know we was talking about that type of cheating. What else? Kind of cheating? Well, what cheating was it? Oh, God. I thought we were just talking about, like, talking. Not no fucking. Well, cheating but is cheating I told at the end him, of the day. Though, but I told him, though. <laughs> and he took me back still. Huh? Yeah. And he ain't never get no, <laughs> he ain't get no get back. So you gonna say this is a no harm no foul? We all good. I'm so mm-hmm. fucking weird. cheating is cheating, China. I understand that, but cheating there's different cheating. types of cheating. You're right. Having like you sex, sex cheating, somebody else cheating, fucking on somebody else cheating. Thank make you. sure you make sure you explain yeah. yourself. <laughs> I was just talking about people. That's really I want fucking on that. It's too much going on. Even with the condom out. Uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah, too many diseases okay, going okay, on okay. around here. So y'all see what type of friend I am. <laughs> Girl. Girl. But you want to cheat? She don't even be like that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> she just like to be by herself. It's only one time. Right, I do. It's only one time. You know what I'm saying? Play us fuck up, man. Everybody make mistakes. You got to live and learn from it. Okay. okay. I ain't doing that much. All right. <laughs> okay. If your mama and your wife is in a car, who's sitting in the front seat? My wife. Good Better answer. be the right answer. Better be the right answer. I said, <laughs> Better imagine. be the right answer. <laughs> Just imagine y'all in the car. Mama. You sit in the back mama. seat. My mama. Uh, mama. She's sitting in the, car, in the front seat. Who? I mean, my but mama. I drive. And my mama old. She definitely get in the front. Like, she older. My she mama young drive. right now, but she like 60 she something, drives. 70 something. Yeah, now we're going to crash. <laughs> no, no. I'm not talking about that. And she like, she she like 70 something. She's sitting in the front. Mm-hmm. You have more room in the front than you do in the back. And away from me, my mom's sitting in the in the back, and she's seven some years old. Deep problems. You gonna put your wife in the back, scrunched up? That mm. she can sit behind me. I I move up, huh? <laughs> That's why we need a truck. I'm so we need we, a truck. No, I don't know about that. One. Big body bins. <laughs> I just don't know about that one. I don't know about that one either. Um, I feel just like your wife should be up there. Okay, so if my dad in the car and you in the car, wait, hold on. Do you know what I'm trying to say? You in the car. Mm-hmm. You would want to sit in the back? Nah, I'll put his old ass in the back. Okay, then. So put, that, so put, you, put her old ass in the he back, He a grown-ass man sit his ass in the back. She a grown-ass woman. What the fuck? <laughs> his old ass in the back. He that be all right. That man trying to do that double standard shit. Right. Y'all just heard what the fuck he said. Okay, okay, okay. What is a deal breaker for y'all? Then we're going to go back to the double standards. What is a deal breaker? For me, if I see, like, we in the car, and I see, like, your ass crack, <laughs> I'm not texting you back. I don't <laughs> <laughs> if I get out hold of the car, you get out of that car. Hold on. Ass crack showing? Ew. Uh, hold on. Hold you could at least like pull up your pants before you got out the car. Like, but that's be a, respectful. That's, wait, wait, wait. That's a deal breaker, though. That is. And I mean, it is nasty, but it's like it's a deal breaker. You like, so you, one time you see that nigga ass, bitch, we're done. We're Go, done. bye. We're done. Why are you showing your ass? Even that's your man. I don't care. What the fuck? It, why are you showing well, why your, your ass? ass it ain't my fault. Oh, God. Why, why is your ass? Why is your boxer saggy? That usually happens with the big nigga. Why is your boxer saggy? Like, how many? So, this new boyfriend or no? How many, how many cracks your ass seen? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
My ass definitely be out. <laughs> but have you ever I'm, felt? I'm a skin ass nigga. If I see Ben, I be that little. <laughs> you can feel when that shit out. Nah, for real though. His shit be out all the time. I should be like, mm. okay. Mm. Why you don't tell him? The fuck up with your head for? You're grown ass man. You feel that breeze? <laughs> I, I fuck around and drop a little ice in that. You're supposed to say, "Hey, fix yourself." No, you're supposed to say. So what's your idea, bro? What's your idea, bro? What's yours? Smoking. I got to Smoking. Yeah. yeah. I I could feel like if you smoke too much, like every day you wake up, smoke, oh, shit. eat before you eat, smoke. Oh, that, that's just crackhead. Vibes. And like the only, yeah, yeah. Only problem I really got with it, like one of my homeboys, he had he had him a little situation, and he was kissing her, and her, a bro stain. Yeah, Ooh, so nice. you like smoke. My bad. Yeah, like, <laughs> like she, I don't know if she's one of them. I ain't getting the. <laughs> he know who I'm talking about though. I'm so weak. <laughs> you go first. Huh? He go first. What's your deal breaker? breaker? Um, I yeah, what do you do? I, I, my, my mind be on other, other shit all the time. Um, deal breaker. Lying. You can't be no liar. You can't be no cheater. That's a deal breaker. That is a deal breaker. Because, bitch, you gonna lie to me all the time. <laughs> Hell no. I ain't gonna believe shit you say. I'm so weak. Oh, you might tell I me this. I get lying. Stop purple. That bitch. Oh. Y'all already mm. know what my deal breaker is. Oh, What's your deal breaker? Or What's we deal breaker too. Like See the nigga crack. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, <laughs> well, we forgot that quick. <laughs> okay. That, that's see. deal breaker. Yeah. I think also, though, like, not being motivated enough. Yeah. Yes. I don't like no lazy nigga. No. Yeah. I'm not motivated. Oh, my God. Like. What it is? That they be like, um, because we at Birmingham, we can't do nothing. Like, their success is only in Birmingham. Like, you have to make it what it is. Shit, I made mean, that bitch everywhere. <laughs> That's how I used to be. Y'all That's why I'd be like, intense. nobody really fucked me because I'm from Birmingham, but I really had to get out there. It was nah, because man. of her. No, it was because of her. Huh? How I'd be out, like, be, like, talking to people and stuff like that. No. It's because I'm talking about discriminating. No, you like talking. no, she's, she's talking, like, no, no, she's talking you about. You said you're from Birmingham. That same thing, like. I'm talking about when you said motivated, when they not right. motivated. I'm talking about the people yeah, you that say. Yeah, you use that as an excuse. Yeah, they oh, okay. use that as an excuse. Right. I want you to elaborate. No, I want you to elaborate because I was trying to understand. Because Birmingham a hating ass city. I don't want to see nobody again for real. But like, you can't, honestly, you can't you base you can't base hate your. Hate what you, you talking about? Okay, <laughs> what's y'all toxic trait? I, I know how to manipulate somebody. Uh, oh no. Yeah. I don't use it all the time. It's only when I, when I, I need lie. some. Are you serious? Yeah, if I need some. But you looking over there. I'm looking over here. <laughs> yeah. I ain't even gonna lie. That's my toxic trait too. I can manipulate. I, I can talk. You know what I'm saying? I got a gift of talking. So it's like I'm, I'm not saying I can, I'm a lie to them. I'm not gonna lie to them. But I can use my words a certain way and make motherfuckers That's think that they, it's their idea, idea and not, really it's what I I'm want. You, you know what I'm saying? Want to heal. I'm good. telling you, I'm not. I can manipulate the fuck out of somebody. Y'all are something No, back else. to you. But I do it for me. good, though. I don't do it for Maybe no. we on a different subject. No, no, we not. We still on that. <laughs> what is you talking about? We still on this subject. You saw my mind is tested back. You think not tested back is toxic? Yeah. How? Because why would you do that to me? What do you mean? Just like with niggas. Like, y'all think y'all can text me this day and then come I, back I the next day. Energy. I can't. I give. Oh. <laughs> y'all can text me this day. <laughs> But not text me back. Oh no, so now you're going too far because I'm not like that. It might be like an hour or two. I don't like that. Yeah, I text you today, text you Friday. I don't like that. Like what what be going through y'all heads? Like, why do y'all yeah. think? When you me. wanna talk when you wanna talk to a girl, you why do you think? You do that? Wait, what? Oh, doing when you want to talk what? to a girl, you why do you want to text her this day? Then I text her for a couple of days, then come I mean, back. Thank y'all. It really thank just depends if I like really fucked you. Mm-hmm. If I don't fuck you like that, I text you Monday, Wednesday, and I text you. A little but bit I Thursday. say if you trying to talk to a girl, I'm trying to talk. I'm telling you every day. If I really want you, I'm telling you every day. Yeah. But I ask, why do dudes do that? <clears throat> really, if they do that, I mean they don't want that girl for real. Yeah, they just trying. You know, you gonna you gonna do by, right by the person you want. Yeah. yeah. And now on the topic though, I just want to say something too. I'm loving the curls. It's giving like a like a um. Look, what's that? What's that? What is Annie? Annie. Like, any. <laughs> I like, like that. a maid type bitch. To you. Oh, whoa! Now you taking it too far. <laughs> it's giving like up. I'm talking about like the little curl. Man, I was talking about the little spiral curls. It was giving like a cute little any vibe, and it was like over your eye. I was like, okay, Jada, wait up, coming yeah. through, bitch. Yeah. yeah. Now you talking about some maid vibe? Thank you. She wasn't a maid; she was an orphan. <laughs> so it gave an orphan vibe. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying, say it, say it right. Okay. She was an orphan. My bad. Yeah, I didn't know. Mm. Okay, let's just get on more serious notes. Yes. <laughs> 
do you open your ass when you in the shower? <laughs> this serious. What you mean about open like me and the motherfucker cuffing that motherfucker in? <laughs> Doing it? Do you wash your ass? Hell like yeah. when you wash your ass, do you open it? Hell no, I ain't, no, I ain't doing. I ain't open. Like, who the fuck finna open that shit? We're done. Who the fuck finna? <laughs> we're done. Like I get the rag, now and I get him up. Who the fuck really finna? Dang. Stop playing with me, man. I'm not playing with you, Jaden. So why are we feeling this topic? Oh, because we want to know. Spread your ass cheap and do that. You don't let the water and stuff like, run between your ass. You got Damn. all types of Charmin Ultra Soft crumbs in that bitch. <laughs> you just reminded me. Oh my god. Now you just reminded me. Yeah, I do that. Shit, when I get the, when I get the rest of that motherfucker out, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I you thought y'all just... was talking about to wash that bitch. I'm like, what the fuck? That's how you wash your ass. Just cool. open it up. You know what? And wash it. it. Yeah. So you just check, please. <laughs> oh Lord Jesus. Okay. Do you well, prefer? You... What? Go ahead. What you about to say? Nothing. Come what on. you finna say? Keep going. What you finna say? What? I about to say, you attacking him with all these questions. You ain't coming for us. I, I mean, this tripping. is what the well, girls want to know. This is the girls yeah. talk. We're talking it for me. For me. How you gonna say that? We ain't a different nigga every week. Okay. 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 What happened to girls talk then? Because we the girls. We talking. We, talking. we getting okay. number two. Keep going. Oh, my gosh. She messing up the flow, bro. Uh-uh. I'm gonna talk on you. Does your girlfriend body count matter in the beginning stage? Yeah. yeah Why? Yeah. So what's too high? What's, what's too, too high? high? I say I don't like over five. I really don't even like. So you can have it, over five, but she can't. Yeah, because you know niggas be talking. Ain't no female really finna be talking. Like, yeah, I did that with any. I did that with any. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nigga be like, yeah, I, I fucked your bitch. They be ready to say something like that. I don't even want that type of reputation on me. Well, she had like twelve bodies. Okay, they so, need to see her body. So okay. what if you got about twenty bodies and everybody seeing your body? I mean, who really gonna say something though? Girls do say something. Girls talk too. Just say what y'all niggas. I done talk. had I'm that God. nigga. Wait, what you gonna do? I done had that nigga. Oh, they be like, I done had that nigga. Oh, his dick big. Oh, his dick little. Oh, that, that right. big. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh my. Right. But our everybody I deal with, they be low key for the most part. Okay, what if she wasn't low key? Is she out there? I'm not finna deal with her. I deal with her, you know, give me some, but out of that, I can't, I ain't finna cuff that. I ain't finna cuff that. They be out there, they be out there with about, I can't cuff that. They be out here with about 5,000 damn bodies, and just be like, oh, I want the bitch with five. Too much, too, too much, six too much, seven too much. Y'all be out here with about 5,000 bodies. Why y'all think like that, though? Why, why do men think like that? Because like, like, y'all see it as an accomplishment, right? You fucking like, a bunch of like, women, but. Like with you, would you buy a car with 500,000 miles on there? You expect me to buy that bitch? You, I'm Hell, saying what you're saying. Exactly. That's no. the same thing with how men think. Exactly. Want no car, no but but, but, but you want to be the, but you want to be that one with five thousand on you though. Don't about one of five. But you want to be the car. but you want to be the we one that's that, five thousand miles. That, though. That's what I'm that saying. Brand new car anyway. <laughs> Is you listening? What? <laughs> you not brand new. So if you the one with five thousand miles, you <laughs> want me to take you? But Fuck no. You get what I'm saying? Women is supposed to be the ones who supposed to be pure. Oh. And men supposed to be pure too. Not my thing. I like I'm so this. weak. I'm so weak. Okay, let's go ahead and play your play your game. Right. Yeah. Everybody there? Mm, so please introduce. Right. Please explain yeah, and introduce. Yeah, explain, introduce. So this is called How Deep Will You Go? Okay. It got three levels to it. It's really just a game to get to know even like anybody that you playing with, okay. friends or family, just stuff like that. So you got level one, icebreakers. Just a very oh, surface level question and stuff like that. Okay. Two, confessions. Mm. You confessing something. I like that. Level three, getting deep. There's no more confessions. So it's going to be a more like a more personal so question. So we did peak. Yeah. Do y'all want to go like just answer one question and yeah. everybody go? Yeah. All right. So yeah. So the level one is icebreaker. On the no, way. no. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> <laughs> it said, "What is your favorite thing to do alone?" I love to think, talk to myself. On oh, God, I talk to myself. Like, we know. What did I say? You need a like. I'm crazy. Not, not crazy. Um, you need a psychiatrist right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, I be talking. I like talking to myself. I be like, I be, I just be like replaying certain shit in my head. I be like, 
you wasn't tripping. I'm like, you sure I want to trip? I'm like, nah, I don't want to trip. You, you really thinking that? You know what I'm saying? We talking about stuff for real. Or I be planning out my day. You need to go see somebody about that shit. <laughs> Why the fuck you talking to yourself? We told her to go sit on that couch. <laughs> we told her to go First sit on of that all, couch. No, <laughs> but be for real. But y'all, y'all talk to yourself, man. Like you, you don't ever just be like. I don't know who the fuck that bitch that you talking to. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. You, you having you, a conversation with yourself, though. But I am having hey, a conversation. Yo. Yes, I am, man. You know, the really? pull up long call. How your day going? Good. I don't hear voices you back. You about to say, cause you, I don't do about to ask. No, I, I don't hear you. voices back. I just you be, be talking answering? to myself. You be answering yourself? I answer myself, hey, yes. yes I talk to myself. She get her no, own self advice. I, I think I loud. That's different. <laughs> but you talking about you having a whole I'm mad as fuck. You actually right. I'm mad as hell because he actually right. Okay, it says, what motivates you in life? Ooh, that's a great oh, I like one. that one. That's a great one. What motivates me is seeing like people really not supporting me, so that really motivates me. I say that that motivates the fuck out of me. It keeps me. It, ke- it keeps me going. It's like, all right, y'all not gonna see me now, but y'all gonna see me then, hmm. and it's gonna be too late. For real, people don't be supporting me for you real. Okay. They say they do, but they really don't. Yeah, they say they do. I think y'all but the same. In reality, it is. It is kind of the same. Honestly, that shit motivates me too. Like, one, my family. Well, no, first off, God. God motivates me. I talk yeah. to him every day. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I pray, I talk to him every day. God motivates me. Then it'll be my family because I know I want so much better for them, so much better for me, for so for us. You know what I'm saying? And then lastly, like she said, the haters. That shit motivate me. The people that say that they're my friends, the people that say that they support me and stuff like that, I see everything, baby. I watch all my comments, all this stuff. I read them. Even if I don't reply, I read them hoes. So... I, you know what I'm saying? The people that say that they support me but really don't share my shit but will go share somebody they don't even fucking know shit or, you know what I'm saying, or like somebody else's stuff. I don't take it to heart, but I see it, you know what I'm saying? So that shit motivates me because, baby, when I'm at the top, don't come around talking about something, oh, I believed in you, congratulations, blah, blah, blah. No, bitch, stay your ass over there. You was over there with Lil John John and them that who ain't even give a fuck about you, right? <laughs> Sharing they shit, they can't even get no reply from them. At least I reply to your ass. But yeah, so that shit motivates me because I love to see y'all hoes envy me. I love it. I'm here for that. Well, my okay. time, I say what motivates me. I just feel like me waking up every day. As long as I'm waking up, I got to get up and try to do something. Yeah. No matter what it is, just do something. Be somewhat productive. Right, right, right. Exactly. Be people flock up. Ain't nothing to say around with. Uh, I, got, I got like two. Because one, I did it to myself. And then uh, the other one, it was a home. The one on, it was a homeless man. He was downtown. I was downtown around scooters. And I ended up seeing him digging in the trash. I'm just thinking like, damn, that could be me any day mm-hmm. if it happened. It could yeah. always be me. I even went up there after he wants to eat. He told me no, but shit, it's just me trying to do that to mm-hmm. help him. See, right. I don't want, I don't want nobody digging on trash. I don't give a fuck who you is. Right. Cause you can have everything now, and by tomorrow, tomorrow you don't have tomorrow tomorrow should be gone. Nothing. That's what happened day. to me. Mm-hmm. Like, I did the power of the tongue. That shit's very powerful. Very I said powerful. some shit that I wanted to happen, but it shit, not that shit happened. I don't want that shit no more. Mm-hmm. Ain't good. What's the same thing? What's hmm. the it was second. Oh, it was. Mm-hmm. Now a lot of people don't realize that the tongue is very powerful. That's very, very when they be out here saying, "Oh, we about to die," I be like, "Who is we?" <laughs> I be like, "No, say you, baby. <laughs> don't say, we. I be like, "Don't say we. Don't put me in that." Because baby, the tongue is powerful. People don't realize what you speak into existence really can come true. Mm-hmm. And I, that's why I speak so much life over us. And I be like, we gonna be successful because baby, I know we gonna make it. We gonna make it to the we top. We gonna make it that's to the top. I say that shit every day, man. Y'all, y'all be out here just be saying anything. I just be like, y'all don't give a fuck about y'all life. Y'all gotta be. Ca- Would you say y'all react <laughs> off of emotion instead of like logic, like for Sometimes. what the situation it is? On the situation. Back yeah. then, I used to react. Yeah, off I can tell you, she be crazy. But now, She's still is crazy. I can tell by how you talk your demeanor. <laughs> We got you, friend. We got you. Fuck them up. Nah, back then, yeah, I used to think more off of emotion. Just be like, I used to be mad, just flash out. Like I just used to be on crazy. I feel shit. like you still like it. No, now, now I try to take a, a more. You still do that. No more. I try to take truth. a more. I I try to think. I take a more logical approach because now I'm like, okay, I'm gonna give you a couple more chances. Now I'm like. All right, I felt like you should have did this. I felt like we should address it this way. I'd be like, you know what I'm saying? I'll try to think about it before I go off and react. Because it used to be, I used to just be first mind, bitch, I'm on it, on it. Whatever the fuck I thought first, I was going with it. But now I try to think more. I don't think so. I think you still like that. So, example. Friend, we been, we been in high school, you was not like that. You graduated from jail? No, no, she lived. Oh, oh, you but in high school, in high school, I, I think you was more timid in high school. 
in high school, you used to like no, in high school, because I knew I had a bad temper in high school. I didn't want to flash out. So in high school, I'll just sit there and be quiet and try not to. So you gave in to it? No, I ain't never give in to it, but I'll be, man, you know what I'm talking about? I'll just be like, man, fuck it. Let me just not say nothing, because if I react, I'm going to do some other shit. Now, it's more like I don't let it get me as emotionally invested. Now, I'm just like, all right, this is what you did. I'm going to try to give you a, a reason. Example, the shit that just happened recently with, you know. You who, was emotionally invested. I was emotionally invested, but my first mind was to just go to that bitch loft and just fuck her ass up. But I didn't do that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't do that. Okay. Mm. It said, what was the hardest goodbye in your life? It would have been that's so lame, but oh my old friend. It's getting deep now. Not service level. You don't give a fuck about your friend. You need something deep. My hardest goodbye. Damn. It would have had to be It would have had to be with my dad. I I wanted that relationship, but I'm not gonna beg you to be my dad. Alright. I like that, see. That's what I'm talking about. I feel like mine is my cousin who passed away in twenty twenty one. It was like the real like death. Like all my grandparents, except for one, passed away. But I'm young, so I ain't really understand that. But now I'm 20, mm-hmm. understand like exactly what death is. So I ain't get to say goodbye. Right. Last time I seen, I'm glad I did say I love him. And I was doing what I love. I was selling him shoes. Right. So they're just like the only that's the hardest goodbye, and I still ain't healed from that. Yeah. But you know, it, they, days go on. He be all right one day. Yeah, yeah. and that be the bad thing. The fact that people be alive, and you still yeah. can't even. You know, connect with them like yeah. you used to. Yeah. Like, how my daddy alive is all you need to talk about. Mm. Anyways. Mm. Anyways. He ain't had to add that, but that you make people laugh and like shit like that. <laughs> then you gonna make <laughs> Oh, God. You <laughs> I gotta make myself laugh. You wanna make us I laugh. gotta make myself laugh. <laughs> okay. We're gonna end out this question right here. What's a sign that a female has another man in her life? I just say the way she started to treat you, if. If she train you good, it it really just depends on what kind of female you got. Some female know how to play it, play it right. Mm-hmm. But like the type of person I am, and most females I have dealt with, they do have somebody else. They're gonna treat you different. They're gonna treat you like like you a king. They're gonna mm-hmm. treat you like like you a prince. Mm-hmm. They're gonna treat you good, but they're gonna have somebody else on the side too. Mm-hmm. Okay, you got something else? I don't feel like that's always the case though, because if if they loyal and down to you, like if if I'm loyal to you. <clears throat> And you my nigga, like, I'm with you only. I'm going to treat you like a king anyway because you're supposed to be treated as royalty. The same way I expect you to treat me like a princess or a queen. You know what I'm saying? So I'm saying you, you can't really somebody say else. that. Like, you're dealing with somebody that else. Don't, but that don't mean you're dealing with somebody else. Just because they treat you like a king, they could just be really fucking with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If they, because you dealing with one female, most of the time they're going to teat you. They're going to treat you good. They're going to make sure you good. But they got to worry about two, two, two niggas. Oh, they're not going to. Are you saying that they're not going to treat yeah, you yeah, right they, if they, they okay, going to treat you like okay, no king? Okay. okay, I get that. I get that. Mm-hmm. And most of them, they'll be distance and stuff. They'll be distant. You ain't gonna see them all the time. They don't, if they if they busy, you know, they got their own little business. Mm-hmm. All right, but you know, they ain't got their own business. They're trying to be distance. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it gotta be somebody else on the side. Yeah. Is it breaking girl code if we say it? Hell no. Say what? Hell no. What yeah, is it? So okay. Hell no. And we're gonna end it off of that. Man. Thank y'all for tuning in. I got okay. Y'all ladies. I got y'all. <laughs> Thank y'all for tuning in. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Also hit that notification bell because if you don't, then what, what the fuck doing? are you doing? Yeah.